All right, class, in this video, I want to show you how to do an ABG problem using the tic-tac-toe method. There's also some YouTube videos on that, and I posted that also, so you can watch that as well, but I'll also demonstrate it here. Okay, so again, I'm going to work on case two. So to start off, remember, we have to look at what is normal. So the normal pH is 7.35 to 7.45. I'm going over this again just in case you guys choose to watch, watch one of the method and not the other, so I want to start from the beginning for both methods. The PCO2 in the blood is um, 35 to 45 millimeters of mercury, and then the HCO3 value, oops, The HCO3 value, the bicarbonate value, for normal is 22 to 26 milliequivalent per liter. And if, it, if something strays from the imbalance and that is caused by, <clears throat> by, the, by the PCO2, then that will be a respiratory cause. And then if it's caused by um, the bicarbonate, then it, that is the actual cause of the imbalance, then that will be a metabolic, okay? Okay, so now you're gonna um, look at each value. So here's a patient for case two on your worksheet that's showing up to the ER. You can read the patient's background, what's going on, what the patient's physical exam looks like. But a lot of times, these patients with acid-base imbalance are incoherent, maybe unconscious. So really, you don't know if what the patient's saying is correct. So the blood work will be the way to go to really analyze um, the values. Okay, so let's take a look at it. You, you draw blood and this are the values you got for the patient. So step one is look at the pH. pH is lower than 7.35, so this is a low pH which is acidosis. So this patient's in blood acidosis. But what caused it? So now you need to look at the other values. So step two, we'll look at the PCO2 and see what that says. PCO2 is, in this case, is uh, low. So low PCO2 is equal to high pH, so respiratory is opposite. So low PCO2, high pH, or alkalosis. Okay, and then the last thing we're gonna look at is the bicarbonate. So the bicarbonate here is nine, so that's much lower than what is normal, 22 to 26. So low bicarb, is equal, equivalent, so the um, equivalent to low pH. Okay, so respiratory is opposite, metabolic is equivalent. So that mnemonic is ROME, R-O-M-E. Okay, low pH is acid. Okay, so the first three step for both methods of the five-step method and the tic-tac-toe method are the same, okay? <coughs> How you look at the data is a difference. So in the tic-tac-toe method, you'll draw a tic-tac-toe. In the five-step method, you'll just do step four and five looking for the matching and the opposite. So in the tic-tac-toe method, what you want to start out with is draw a little tic-tac-toe. Okay, so the tic-tac-toe would look like this. Okay, we're not going to play tic-tac-toe like you do, like a game. What we're going to do is look at the values. So you want to write on top of the tic-tac-toe, this is alkaline column, okay? And this is the normal pH column, and this is the low pH column, the acid. 
So every tic-tac-toe, you'll set it up this way, okay? And now you're gonna look at each value, okay? So first, I'm gonna take the pH, so that's the purple right here, step one. So the pH is acidic, so I would write the pH in the acid column. Okay, and then I'll write the step. <coughs> the HCO3, I'll write also in the acid column. So I'll write HCO3. You can kind of, if you want to set it up the same, you want to imagine that this column, what we're looking at, is you can have it set up where the first row you're looking at pH, right? So you, you have a seven. And then the second row, you'll be looking at CO2, PCO2. And then the last column, you're looking at HCO3. That's row, I think. Okay? So you'll set it up this way. So this is the same thing at the step four and five in the five step method, but here you're making a grid. Okay? So now the last thing we're gonna look at is the CO2, which is in the column that is gonna be alkaline. So CO2 is on this column. Okay, so now that you have it written down, which, so you're just taking one, two, and three and putting on where it belongs. You will then look at if the pH, so you have pH is in the acid, those is column, but in the same column is the HCO3. So HCO3 now is the cause of the pH imbalance. So this will be a metabolic cause of pH acidosis. So you will write here metabolic acidosis okay and that's the cause that's the column that they match so I'll highlight it here for you but you can also look at if there's anything in the opposite column in the alkaline so there is pH is acidic and you have something in the alkaline column so in this what it's doing is that this is the compensation. So then you will write, because CO2 is respiratory, we do have respiratory compensation. If you look at the CO2 in this patient, it's lower in the blood so they're respiratory compensating by hyperventilation. To expel the CO2 so that the pH can go up. Okay, so that's the tic-tac-toe method on how to do uh, a acid base problem. So I want to show you now if we had an acid-base problem with no compensation, what would it look like? Okay, so if I drew the same tic-tac-toe and we have alkaline here, normal, and acid. And then here we have pH. We have CO2 and we have HCO3. Okay, so this is just looking at, even just looking at the problem one above, the case study number one, the case number one above, okay? So if you look at the pH, the pH is in the acidic range. And then if you look at the, CO2, the CO2 is in the acidic range in question, case one here. And then the bicarb is normal. Okay. 
So this patient will have respiratory acidosis, okay? But there will be no compensation. Okay, so that's the tic-tac-toe method. Again, the YouTube video will show many, many scenarios, and I have many, many scenarios here for you to do. So practice them and then do the practice uh, homework as well, okay? If you have any questions, send me an email.